In this 90 second video, I share why Monday the 20th of January is the calendar's gloomiest day and how we can use it as a springboard for better things. Bob Geldof sung about his dislike for Mondays in the classic Boontown Round Rat hit. It's safe to say that Bob really wouldn't like Monday the 20th. Psychologist Dr. Cliff Arnell has identified the date as being the most depressing day of the year. And here's why Dr. Arnell came to his conclusion. Number one, the weather. This time of year is usually rubbish and it's got a bit colder. Number two, the Christmas feel good factor is long gone and the credit card bills from the festive period start arriving. Number three, add to that, a lot of us have broken our New Year's resolutions and the long summer days and evenings seem far, far away. But it need not be all doom and gloom. Here are seven super simple things you can do to lift your mood at any time of the year. Listen to a song you love. Get outside in the fresh air. Our area has lots of nice places to walk around. Get yourself on the moss or down to Hollins Green. Have a tidy up. Treat yourself to something nice, a cake, a book, or even a day out. Call your best friend. Do something nice for someone else with no expectation of getting something back. Get up, get dressed, and list three things you are grateful for. If the above fails, you can always put a note in your diary, calendar or phone, looking forward to Friday the 17th of July, which according to Dr. A's formula, is the happiest day of the year. At Oliver James, we take pride in putting smiles on our clients' faces and doing our bit to add some cheer to the community. Remember folks, when it comes to looking after your mental health, sharing is caring. So if you found this article interesting, click share for me now. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you on the next one.